first things we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to swap out a lipstick case. So this one you already saw that I've cleaned and disinfected it. So I was looking at the different option sizes um, on this one. So if you're gonna swap out a lipstick, make sure it's a working one, meaning you can screw this up and down. And this one works as you can see. So you're gonna screw it all the way to the top and I wasn't sure which lipstick to use. This one's beautiful. I already froze these lipsticks. So this was a Lisa Elridge lipstick. Um, but I really like the case on this. It's really pretty. So I kind of don't want to take this one out. And I was thinking of a couple of Bessemer lipsticks. Um, um, I froze these because like I said, I was going to do another part. You'll see me also melt a couple of lipsticks. This is the Ruby Red. I did say they do make, MAC does make smaller options, but when I was looking at the lipstick holder, it looked like it was not this small. It looked like it was a standard, so I ended up getting all fired up. And Ruby Rue, I tend to wear a lot of hot pink or bright blue red, so I'm gonna actually go with Ruby Rue. So you're gonna see me open this. And like I said, already froze this, so this has already been frozen. Um, and all you're literally going to do is stick it out and stick it in. So you can do this with any case. Like I did mention, um, if you ended up getting the best Marilyn Monroe, um, you can do the same thing. Just freeze the lipstick and then just swap it out. So this is already frozen. Okay. Can I use a little bit of parchment too? take it out. Um, I am going to just melt a little bit the bottom just so it kind of sticks not too close. You just kind of want to melt it a little bit. Once you see the shine, the gloss, you can and just stick it in. Sorry, two closes, two little pins, and there you go. Put yourself a nice lipstick. So the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna throw this. I mean, you can save these cases if you want. I mean, if you you could technically be swapping out lipstick cases all the time um if you have a specific one or whatever color you can just keep in the freezer you can keep these um i think i should keep it right mac has a return so i won't toss it i'll save it um and then you'll also see me what i'll do is i'm gonna i froze i froze all these lipsticks so i'm gonna do something specific um i'm gonna get this parchment out don't think i need Love, so I'll toss these um, and then this is one of the compacts we're going to repair. I'm going to do the lipsticks first since I have the lipsticks out and I don't want them to melt. Um, this is kind of awesome. It has like a little lipstick case and it does pop out as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refill those with lipsticks. Um, they have these really awesome writing. Let me see if I can focus so you can see it. Yeah, can you see the writing on it? I scrubbed and cleaned this one prior. Yeah, so if we read it, I think it should be this way. Is it this way? Yes. So for refill, you could read that one. And then I'll read this one that I have. For refill number 1218, and then this one's 1213, the one that you see, send 25 cents and the desire and the shade desired to Algina 358 Fifth Avenue, New York City. How wonderful is that the refills? Um, but what I'm gonna do is with my lipsticks, um, and what I think I'm gonna use is this is Red Hot Red from Besame, and then this is Exotic Pink. I wear these a lot. 
So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm actually gonna take them off. I haven't worn this lipstick. Um, I'm gonna take it off from the bottom. So, cause I don't wanna ruin necessarily the top. I'm just gonna do the parchment like I did. And we're just gonna carefully slide it out. I think it's a small amount cause I don't think it has that much in it. Right, let's say approximately that much. Let's stick this in here. Ah, uh, yes, I should have worn gloves, ladies. I should have worn gloves. It's okay. That should melt. Now you see why I did parchment paper right there. Stick it right back in the tube, upside down. I might make our lipstick a little lopsided, but that's okay. Boom, done. Now to the next shade. I'm gonna wash my hands because I don't want to mix my red and my pink. So this is all, all done. Wash my hands. I'm kind of debating. I think I might do the Lisa Eldridge one. It's such a pretty. This is the roll of pink. This is a skyscraper. Pink. It's beautiful. It's from our Velvet Collection. I hate reading lipsticks, but you know, it's for a good cause. It's getting soft, so I have to be careful. Right there. Let's stick it back in. Oh, my beautiful Lisa Everidge. See, this is why you want to work with them when they're frozen. Um, I had it out for a little bit, but it's okay. It's still going to be fine. Just press that down. My finger melted. And there you go. I mean, I'm going to wear it, so it's fine. It's fine. It's just a lipstick. A beautiful lipstick, but I'm going to wear it, so it's not going to be perfect. But I do want that color in my compact. But yes, work with them frozen. Don't let them melt. I had them out for too long, so it started melting. Um, it's easier to work with them melted. Hopefully I did not take too much from this one. And then we're just gonna have it melt on I'm just going to use to melt. I've had this on. It's really hot. So I'm going to make sure I clean up all the excess lipsticks on the edges. It's just my old heating straight iron. And so I'm literally just going to place it there. And then, see? Just melt. Hopefully, it did not overflow. Oops, too much. It's okay. I'll clean it up if it overflows. And then just carefully slide it out. I didn't see that, but I made a mess. It's okay. It's too hot. I should get a spatula. Not a spatula, but what's it called? A... Let that melt. I think you can see it melting. It's literally melting away. You know what I notice? Okay, so that one felt right there, and then the other one felt right here.
I'm gonna remelt it a little bit because I want my lipstick in there. And I just can't, just realized something I could do that's gonna make this easier. Because part of the problem is trying to get them to slide out when the thing is hot, and it just occurred to me I should put it on parchment and put it on top. And that would have made things so much easier. <laughs> so let me do that. Yeah, now you can see why I have parchment under there. Yeah. So under parchment. Flip it. Just place it on top. Yeah, you don't want it to boil. See, I got bubbles on this one because it boiled. But let me see if I can. Sorry. Get the angle on it. It is melting. Perfect. It's melting. It's melting beautifully, actually. Yeah, so just use parchment paper and stick it on. It's a lot easier than a I'm gonna slide it out because I need it. Beautiful little bubble. So, what have we done so far? We fit, we filled the lipstick. And then we refilled. And I've already cleaned them up. Two of the lipstick pans that I had in one of my vintage compacts. And then. Mm -hmm.